This question has some slightly harder SAT vocab, but that's okay. We can just look at the sentences and see if maybe, you know, we have any trouble. At least we can maybe eliminate some choices. Some researchers believe that the genes that enable groundhogs and certain other mammals to hibernate through the winter by slowing their breathing and heart rates and lowering their body temperatures may be blank in humans, present yet having essentially no effect on our bodily processes. I mean, look, this is a good example of just know how they're setting you up. Like, they're literally just defining the word. We need something that's present but has no effect. So if we want to simplify this even further, um, present yet no effect. So is there any idea that matches with that? Well, decisive means you are you know, making a decision. You are very clear cut about what you're deciding. I mean, the word decide is basically in the word. So it's not saying the genes are decisive. That has nothing to do with something being present but having no effect. I mean, honestly, if it has no effect, then it sounds like it's not decisive. So that doesn't really make sense. Um, lacking is definitely tempting. I think many of you might pick this because you are kind of maybe just jumping to the first thing that makes some sense, but it's not what they're saying here, right? If it's lacking, then it's just not there. But the sentence is specifically telling us that the genes are present. They have no effect, but they're not lacking. They're not kind of uh, just missing. So this is not what they're saying. I do think it's a trap though. I think a lot of people are gonna get this wrong by just jumping to that first conclusion without really thinking about what they're saying. Um, variable also may be a little tempting, um, but no, variable means that the, the gene kind of changes, right? It varies, but that's not what they're saying either. They're not saying that it's present and you know has an effect sometimes, but other times doesn't have an effect. It's just kind of, one thing that they're describing it as. And so dormant, hopefully you know this word, this is definitely a good SAT word, it, it really just comes from the word sleep. So it kind of means something like asleep, right? So think about when you're asleep, you are, you're present, you're in your bed, you're alive, you exist, but your mind is not really there, right? You're dreaming, you're, you know, just unconscious. So it, it's very similar. Obviously they're not saying that it's literally like sleeping, but it's a similar idea where the, the thing exists, the gene is there, but it's it's not having an effect, it's not active. And so it's definitely a good word to know. It has this more kind of general meaning. It doesn't necessarily have to do with sleep, but I do think it's interesting that they're talking about hibernation in this sentence because that's another area where I associate this word dormant, right? Like the, a bear during the winter time goes into its burrow and it hibernates it's it's dormant it's it's there it's it's existing it's still a bear but it's not coming out and like going around the world you know eating things it's it's just asleep for a couple months so um just a coincidence that that's the way that they're using the word because they're not using it to talk about hibernation in the in the in the blank but it's just a weird coincidence that it kind of has both those meanings and both of them happen to show up in the sentence